Hey, this is Mitchell from Soundbridge. Before we begin the tutorial, please take a moment to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you are notified every time you release a new video tutorial. Doing so really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and we appreciate the support. With that said, let's continue with the video recap of our latest blog tutorial where I will show you how to process your 808 baseline. Contemporary 808s are considerably away from what the original designer Ikaturo Kakehashi must have envisioned in the 80s when he created the Roland TR-808. The drum machine sounded unlike anything else on the market at the time, though it's subsonic kick drum among other sounds. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to process your 808 baseline so it fits better in the mix. As you can see from the project, I processed the 808 baseline sequence in three steps. The first was saturation, which increased the harmonics of the baseline and therefore made it a bit more prominent in the mix. The second step was to process the baseline with the compressor to level out the intensity of the different notes in the sequence. Finally, I used the EQ to polish the sequence and cut and boost the certain frequencies. I hope you will find this technique interesting and for a full blog article please visit our website at sunbridge.io. 